Hey everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel. So today I am doing a hair tutorial. As you can see, I've already gone and filmed the tutorial and this is the final result. So if you want to see how I achieved this look, then just keep on watching this video. This video is sponsored by Squarespace. So thank you kindly to Squarespace for sponsoring this video. I'm not going to ramble too much. Let's just jump straight into the video. I've been getting a lot of um, questions about doing some kind of hair tutorial, how I normally do my waves and style my hair. So I thought I would just do a video showing you guys what I do and what I use. Just a little bit of a side note right now. My hair is so gross. I did Pilates this morning, so my body is like shaking. My shoulders and my arms are so sore and so tired. And I've had like three coffees today, so I'm a bit like, woo! I'm also going to show you what products I use because I always get asked um, on my Instagram what kind of products I use to keep my blonde like really blonde. First of all, I'm probably going to just spray some um, dry shampoo just because my hair is like looking kind of greasy. I'm just using this one from Batiste. Obviously, when you have blonde hair, it's like a lot to upkeep. Even just your general hair care, you want to try and like take the best care of it as you can. So I do have some products here. Um, none of these products are sponsored, by the way. This is just what I use. It's um, most of it's recommended from my hair salon. So this is a shampoo I use. It's from Kerastars, and it is the blonde absolute one. Um, and it's like made for blondes. I really, really love this. I put a like 50 cent coin size dollop on my hands, rub it in, and then I wash it twice. And I do two shampoos with this. Then I like alternate between um, conditioner, like toner, and a smart bond. Um, so I've got this one here as well from Kerastas, and it is the Elixir Ultimate Leaf Fondant. Sorry if I can't pronounce it. I'm just going to show you guys what this looks like. I don't know what this is called. Um, but it's just a conditioner. So I sometimes use this when I wash my hair. So if my hair is looking like really warm and yellowy um, to tone it, I use this one here from Evo. It's their Fabuloso. Um, it's like a purple. This one's a new one. I've got one in the shower at the moment. But it's like purpley conditioner. I think it's a conditioner. It says it's like a treatment. So I'll wash my hair twice with the shampoo and then I'll use this and I put it like all over and I brush it out in the shower. I'll get my hairbrush. I have a hairbrush here from um, Tangle Teaser and this one's like a wet one. It's like made to be on wet hair um, and it's really like the br bristles are really flexible so it doesn't pull and tug on your hair. Um, whenever I do conditioner as well or any kind of treatment, that's like a moisturizing treatment, I'll brush through so it gets like all of my hair. If I'm not doing the conditioner or the pebble shampoo, then I will do a treatment. A lot of people do Olaplex. I've used Olaplex before and I will use it as well. Um, this one is from L'Oreal. It's called Smart Bond and it's like the same th like thing. It's the same concept as um, Olaplex. Basically like a leave-in treatment. Um, for your hair and it's really good to use especially if you have sorry my hair is just i really need to style it so especially if you have color treated hair you really want to use like some kind of treatment um so yeah i'd recommend olaplex or this one here which is smart bond um i use both whatever one you can get your hands on definitely recommend it i do this at least once a week um sometimes i replace it just with the conditioner um sometimes i use conditioner and this or like the sh the purple conditioner and this if my hair really needs a treatment or that sometimes I just put it on my dry hair and I will like leave it in I'll sleep in it maybe and then wash it out in the morning it's chef's kiss and a few other products I quickly want to just show you guys just because I feel like these have really made such a big difference in like how my hair feels and how my hair looks my favorite hair oil is this one from Kerastas it's the elixir oil um i love using this on dry hair when i'm like styled it and i just run it through the ends and it just makes it a lot more like soft looking and it's really good and then i've got this i think it's like a serum it says it's like an overnight protector i don't actually know exactly what this does it just makes it like really soft and feel really manageable and flowy and i really really love it so this one is another serum this one's like like actually called a serum this one's from kerastase as well i know there's a lot of kerastase products um, I'm not sponsored by them. I like purchase all of these. Otherwise, my hair salon gives me some sometimes as well. It's like hard to tell on camera, but it has two sections. One's like a white serum, one's like um, clear, and you just pump it and it 
distributes them both and I run that through my hair and I, I really love how soft my hair feels after using this and I do the same thing as this I just put it on damp hair around like the ends I kind of like get it into my scalp a little bit like with that whatever's excess and then I'll like blow dry my hair I do use the Dyson um blow dryer I really love it and I'll just like kind of like blow out my hair with like one of these um and it just makes it like way softer. I notice a difference when I don't use like a serum. I also just wanted to quickly show you one final product before I get into the hair tutorial. And that is just um, from this brand Way. And I use this when I do my sleek styles. I've noticed this is like so much better than hairspray. Um, and I basically just like, it's like a little matte pomade. It is the best like hair gel pomade that I've ever used and I'll just like slick it down and I use like a really nice smoothing brush to just really slick down my hair so I just wanted to share this with you guys because I feel like it is like the best pomade I've ever used Andre uses this as well sometimes when he's styling his hair and it just really gives you the slickest look and then I'll like spray it with hairspray to just kind of like finish it off <gasps> I hope I'm not talking too fast I feel like I've got like that coffee anxiety where I'm just like you know what I mean? My heart is just racing. I should not have had that much coffee. I'm like one of those people that I can like only have one coffee. And I don't know who I was this morning. I think I was so tired. I was so tired before I went to Pilates because I got up early to go to Pilates. And so I like had a coffee, but then um, I went to Pilates with my friends and we got a coffee afterwards as well. You know, you just get one, like a social coffee. I am paying for it now because my heart is racing. I'm gonna show you now how I style my hair in my uh, waves or in my curls, whatever you wanna call them. So this is the curling iron that I use currently. It is from GHD and I really love it. It's like a matte ceramic barrel, got a clamp. Um, I've got this here, it's like a heat protectant spray. It's from L'Oreal and it's just there like thermal heat protectant spray, so I'm just gonna spray that through my hair. I'm gonna brush through. So I'm going to section my hair. Um, I just like go on top of my ears and just like meet my thumbs at the back of my head to get my first section. And I'm just gonna clip this out the way. Oh my God, just with a hair clip. So I'm gonna use my clamp and I just run it down the strand to warm it up a little bit. And then I just like wrap up. I'm kind of halfway down the barrel. And then I, oh my god, I just realized I'm really going to struggle explaining this. Okay. Hopefully you guys can see what I'm doing. I'm going to run the barrel down the strand of hair to warm it up. And then I clamp it like around the top and I just twist it just to the top of the hair. And I just leave it and hold it there for a minute. And then after holding it, I will unravel it without pulling and then I would do it again. Hopefully that makes sense. It's so confusing. It might take a couple of tries to figure it out. So I'm holding it, just leaving it on there for a little bit. And then instead of like just letting go of the barrel, I'm going to put it under and then move the barrel down again. Hold it. And then I can show you here. So instead of like opening the clamp, I'm just going to unravel. And there is a curl. They'll look really tight, but once we like brush through them and everything, they just go away anyway. So you want them really tight. And I go right down to the end. If you want like a more beachy wave, you can leave the ends a little bit more straight and that'll give you more of a beachy wave. But I like the ends to be like curled.
So I pretty much just put the clamp on and I just kind of drag it to the very end and then go around the barrel where it just curls at the bottom. So it just kind of does a little bit of a flick. Um, I don't like actually curl that piece, if that makes any sense. Got my fringe piece here. So it's just mainly to like flick out the ends. Okay, so you should have something that looks like this. Um, really poofy and big and now what I'm gonna do is just take like a tangle teaser brush um, and, or just I'm gonna kind of comb and I'm just gonna brush through and this is like what's gonna loosen the curls turn them more into like a wave I also will now go and take that hair elixir, this one from Kerastas, it's like the hair oil, any hair oil will do. And just do like one pump of that, and I just kind of run it through the like mid lengths, like my fringe here. And it just like smooths everything out, it helps with any like flyaways just like ties everything in and then as well at the end you can just go through and recurl any bits that kind of need a touch up Before I close out today's video, I do want to give another mention to today's video sponsor, which is Squarespace. So thank you to Squarespace for sponsoring this video. So if you guys haven't heard of Squarespace before, they're an amazing one-stop platform that help you create websites where you can host your businesses or even just a personal website, blogs. They have a whole list and range of templates that you can use. They help you create email newsletters. It helps you track your stats and analytics. It's overall just a really amazing platform um, for anyone who's looking to start an online business or anyone who needs somewhere to create a website. It is so easy to use and user-friendly um, and I just cannot recommend them enough. If you guys are interested in trying out Squarespace for yourselves, I'm going to leave a link on the screen as well as in the description box that has a free trial so you can trial it out for yourselves. I also have a code if you wanted to use that code. I've got that on the screen and as well in the description box and that will give you 10% off your first purchase. Thank you again to Squarespace for sponsoring this video and that is my video today. I hope you guys enjoyed. I hope you guys learned something from this. Sorry if it was so all over the place. Um, but if you have any questions about any other kind of hair regarding my hair, just leave them in the comments. Um, and if you guys wanted to have like another hair tutorial video, I'm happy to do that. I know I like style my hair in like different ways. Like I do like a different pony, like claw clips and like I have it like a, in a straight like blowout fake blowout kind of style so if you guys are interested in more hair tutorials I can film like a like hair tutorial other hair tutorials video just showing you all my other hairstyles and whatnot so if that's something you guys want to just leave a comment other than that I hope you guys enjoyed the video thank you so much for watching and I will see you in my next video have a good day Mwah!